Hi everyone, welcome to Bitter Black Isle, the setting of Dark Arisen. And hello pawns, what's an Arisen without their pawns? They're back again. This isn't going to be a sweeping adventure through the new dungeons, um, not yet anyway. More of a chat about what Dark Arisen is following a, a conversation with the fans the other day. I think a few of them are still unsure. I think a few others are still a little unsure about what Dark Arisen is. Um, quick side note, this is uh, Orla who stands ready to decurse any treasures you find in the dungeons below. And she's sort of your uh, one-stop shop for changing equipment, skills and storage. Kind of like a Swiss army knife of all the characters you used to talk to around the Grand Soren marketplace. But anyway, this is uh, Bitter Black Isle, a huge new dungeon which the focus of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen is on. It's got kind of a, a Diablo feel to it, I think, that you're constantly heading deeper down, finding new treasure at every turn and fighting bigger and badder enemies. Now, if you're new to Dragon's Dogma, this is not for you, not yet anyway. You'll need to be fairly experienced before setting foot down here. Thankfully, if you're new, the whole of Dragon's Dogma is included with Dark Arisen anyway, so you can start your journey and catch up with the rest of us. There's a whole sweeping world awaiting you, as you may have seen in previous videos. Now, for you veterans, um, this is my Arisen and Pawn from my first playthrough. The save's transferred across, and yeah, now Dark Arisen is this whole new area for you to play through, and it's ridiculously tough. When was the last time you were beaten up by a goblin? Well. It's happened to me here. Everything in this island is nastier, a tougher version of what you've encountered before, or there's completely new enemies and I've had a, a fair few run-ins, but I don't think I can show you too many of them just yet, not until the, the game launches anyway. Uh, returning players will be pleased to know alongside a few new costumes, there's also an Eternal Fairy Stone. Um, for the uninitiated, that's kind of like the, the game's fast travel system, and that used to rack up a small fortune. Well, now you get that for free. It feels just like one big relentless adventure, it just keeps daring you to go on and on further. And there's always traps and horrors waiting for you. I quite like this one. I quite like this ogre waiting here with a, a new type of harpy, ready to cast some spells on me. I have no idea why its buttocks are going orange, but if Lost Planet's taught me anything, uh, pretty much spank the orange. Spank the orange until your enemy is felled. It's a universal truth we can all live by. But great team effort, but I mean, yeah, even things like, um, like the goblin shamans, like upgraded goblins in this game, still give me a run for my money, still incredibly tough to fight. You have to counter up whole new tactics to, uh, to take them on. I love this guy running around on fire. You may be a massive goblin, but you're still on fire. Weapon. There you go. No need to thank me. I used to go for the uh, the magic archer class, but I, I've changed up to uh, more of the paladin now because I like the fact that I could use what is essentially the medieval equivalent of a baseball bat with some nails through it. Clearly, the deadliest weapon ever invented. And after battling all these ogres and manticores and cyclopses. As well as a few new surprises, I find myself in this very familiar looking uh, part of the dungeon. And uh, ex Dragon's Dogma Vets will recognise these tentacles rising from the ground. And yeah, if you recognise this area, now you can see what's causing them. This giant D&D style floating eye. Absolutely repugnant. But I think that's a good place to, uh, to leave you there with me battling a giant eye. You don't get to see that every day. But yeah, Dark Arisen's uh, out in stores very soon. If you've got any questions, leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them. Alright, thanks for watching.